what's going on guys it's omniarch and today i'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about call of duty modern warfare 2 remastered potentially coming this year i swear the call of duty gods must have heard me crack open this monster because i was browsing the internet for call of duty information and on the sidebar of gfinityesports.com i saw an article that said modern warfare 2 remastered leaks release date campaign multiplayer and more this let me just preface this by saying this is the third time that we're seeing leaks leaks of modern warfare 2 remastered right we initially saw this in 2018 where people were speculating it was coming out in 2018 and a lot of people myself included were like i don't know this is a treyarch year it wouldn't make sense for, to drop this year and it didn't then in 2019 halfway through 2019 um, we saw leaks again popping up for modern warfare 2 remastered and then people were like okay that makes sense if it's going to drop it's going to be this year because it's an infinity ward year and then we saw infinity ward announce modern warfare and people were saying okay well it would make sense now kind of because you know they're rebooting the franchise and so they can tie it in somehow um however the game came and went we didn't get modern warfare 2 remastered and you know in hindsight it makes sense right if they're gonna reboot a franchise why would they piggyback on the older version in hopes that it would sell more right it, it they really wanted to release modern warfare without any affiliation to the previous games to show their fans and their shareholders that they're fully invested in the future of call of duty rather than continuing to rely on the past however still using the name to get brand recognition out there so this time around i clicked the link with hesitation right because we've been promised this and we've been let down not promised the leaks have come out and we've been let down um and so this time around um there's two things that are so sorry three things that are worth noting right the first is i'll go over the article that i saw on the sidebar and really it doesn't confirm anything but it does link to a tweet from a notorious call of duty leaker his name on twitter or her name on twitter is okami 13 underscore uh and they said and I, i'm quoting their tweet here modern warfare remastered is releasing this year with multiplayer hashtag modern warfare hashtag mw2r so they're suggesting right that modern warfare 2 remastered is coming out this year and apparently they are well known in the leak community for call of duty so their opinion does have i guess at least a little bit of weight right but again we saw leakers say it's definitely coming in 2018 it's definitely coming in 2019 and it came those years came and went and we don't have the game still right so this alone isn't that much information but it's still something right a notorious call of duty leaker thinks it's coming this year so if they have insider information that's interesting right it's interesting that that could be the case and you know they could be right but things change all the time you know three months from now the insider information could be different call of duty could be thinking okay well actually it doesn't make sense to do it this year so let's do it some other time so i did a little bit more research right i i was digging a little bit more <clears throat> because now i'm interested now i want to know so i found another article that recently came out um where another notable twitter leaker for call of duty on twitter they go by nibelion n-i-b-e-l-l-i-o-n they tweeted a picture of a um of a website that belongs to south korea's game rating and administration committee so i'm assuming this is essentially south korea's esrb committee uh committee they included a picture of the website which is mostly in korean um but the title of the game is in english presumably because activision is an american company and the title of the game is call of duty modern warfare 2 campaign remastered and this was posted or submitted to their um their game rating committee on february 26th so this news kind of flew under the radar right probably because of all the hype around warzone um a lot of stuff has been going on in the world in the last month so it wouldn't be surprising that we kind of didn't really notice this leak um but they they confirmed a couple of things one this is an official website right this is an official website for the game rating and missions uh administration committee for south korea so this is a legit thing um it also suggests that if there is a multiplayer it will be separate from campaign because why else would they only rate the campaign right um it is possible that that the rating agency does 
rate by game mode in South Korea, but I don't have any idea what South Korea is like. So I don't know. Um, that's just a suggestion, but it, we've seen before um, leaks in the previous years suggesting that multiplayer is not coming, right? And then we've heard other leaks saying it is. So this kind of falls in line with those previous leaks. So it's interesting that this would be submitted to the rating board for South Korea at the same time as this other Twitter leaker independently suggesting that we're getting Modern Warfare 2 remastered this year. Now, I know what a lot of you guys are thinking, right? You're thinking this is supposed to be a sledgehammer year or this is supposed to be a Treyarch year. There's no reason why they would release Modern Warfare 2 remastered this year, right? And if you guys didn't know, um, sometime last year, Treyarch essentially, from what it seems, is that they took over the development of sledgehammers call of duty game for 2020 because the development wasn't where activision wanted it to be at that point um apparently there were some internal disagreements some struggle amongst the development team at sledgehammer and that kind of forced uh treyarch to step in to kind of help them release a game this year now what's interesting is that in february Call of Duty made an official announcement saying that yes, Call of Duty is coming in 2020, right? And that's no surprise to anybody. They've been releasing a Call of Duty game every year since like, I don't know, 2005. And since then, they've been on a regular development cycle. At first it was, you know, Treyarch, Infinity Ward, Treyarch, Infinity Ward. Advanced Warfare came around and Sledgehammer jumped into the mix at that point with their own game. And then they released another game when World War II came out. That was another Sledgehammer title. So this year, 2020, is supposed to be a Sledgehammer year, right? In February, when they announced Call of Duty 2020, they didn't announce the publisher. They didn't announce who was developing the game, which is odd, right? It's odd because we're used to a steady, regular development cycle. So if it's going to continue on, like they should just say who it is right unless it's not that easy it's not that simple right it's not that straightforward um which goes to show that it is very likely that sledgehammer had to be taken over by at least by treyarch if not other studios like they could be pulling in developers from their other studios right i mean they also have infinity war that they you know they just released warzone now they could say okay we got to free up some people to come help call of duty 2020 or they could pull people from raven software uh or software raven software to come help with call of duty 2020 right those are the guys that made the original modern warfare remastered not only that during the same announcement to their shareholders they said that they suspect call of duty 2020 to perform worse then Call of Duty Modern Warfare. They admitted that to their shareholders. They were setting that expectation months in advance, saying, hey, we just want to let you know, like, we don't think that this game is going to sell as well as Modern Warfare. And there's a million reasons why. Of course, if there was some development struggle, that could lead to it. Um, also, Modern Warfare sold a lot of copies based on the clout of it being a Modern Warfare reboot, right? And so this year, Treyarch... I'm sorry, uh, Sledgehammer has nothing to reboot, right? They have nothing that they can really go off of. So how does this tie into Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, right? Well, a couple of things. The first is, if we take a look at Infinity Ward's release of Infinite Warfare, they knew that that game was not going to do well, uh, and, and it didn't. I mean, the game, to put it lightly, was a shit show, right? In terms of pleasing the player base like literally no one wanted another jetpack game nobody wanted another futuristic game let alone a worse version of black ops 3 which is really what it was right it was like the maps were worse i couldn't even tell you a single map from that game plus they had weapon variants it was just nobody wanted that game and they knew that going in right leading up to launch they knew that so what did they do well they bundled in modern warfare remastered and that guaranteed them at least some initial sales, right? It guaranteed that the players that didn't even care about Infinite Warfare would still spend the $60 just to guarantee that they get to play their beloved remastered version of their favorite, potentially favorite Call of Duty, right? So Activision telling their shareholders that they're not that confident in this upcoming 2020 release just goes to show that they are probably in the same mindset now as they were 
before they released infinite warfare and so they know that if they bundle modern warfare 2 remastered it will bump the sales up right they know that's the case and we've been seeing these leaks over the last two years and there's always hype around it so they know activision knows <clears throat> that they can drop modern warfare 2 remastered whenever they want and the sales will be amazing right they don't have to do that much marketing because they know that every big youtuber and every big twitch streamer grew up playing modern warfare 2 remastered and they will not be able to resist revisiting their love for that game right so they know that modern warfare 2 remastered is going to sell well no matter when they drop it so they might as well drop it alongside and bundled with a game that they anticipate won't do well on its own on top of that you could be saying okay well that still doesn't explain why they would release a infinity ward remaster during a year where infinity ward isn't involved and my only theory for that is that we don't necessarily know in infinity ward is involved right they may be switching up how they develop call of duty games with this year right they may have been forced because of sledgehammers uh you know falling short um but that may be forcing them to reconsider how they even publish call of duty in the future because call of duty is the only triple a title that is still on a yearly release besides like sport games right and i don't think call of duty is really competing with fifa or with the you know madden and things like that call of duty is competing with uh counter strike with rainbow six and even with games like league of legends overwatch grand theft auto fortnite right apex legends these games are what's really pulling players away from call of duty and 10 years ago having a yearly development cycle gave them an edge because every year there was a massive update to the franchise but in this day and age one year is way too long because fortnite is releasing massive updates every two months right so why would keep people keep playing a call of duty game that's nine months old when fortnite continues to update right and that also goes for other games right it's not just fortnite it's pretty much every game out right now is releasing tons of new content all the time whereas call of duty is resetting every year and yes there are events and stuff like that but for the most part it's not to the caliber that other games are releasing so it wouldn't surprise me if activision took some of the development team from infinity ward to also help sledgehammer and treyarch develop call of duty 2020. keep in mind that modern warfare was actually the first call of duty game that and we're talking the reboot modern warfare was the first call of duty game that was developed with this new engine if you didn't know call of duty was running on a continuously modified engine for the last 14 years until modern warfare and that's why the game plays a little bit different because it's an updated newer engine it's a totally different game engine and so it wouldn't be surprising to me if modern warfare was kind of the guinea pig for that engine and now that infinity ward developers have some experience or more experience developing for that engine it wouldn't shock me if they pulled some of those developers to also work on cod 2020 and if cod 2020 is a release that has contributions from all studios then that is why they wouldn't say who developed it during their reveal in february and that also would allow them to justify bundling modern warfare 2 remastered to boost its sales and my last point is that you know they may continue to do that in the future meaning they may consolidate these development teams uh into just creating a ton of content for one continuously updated call of duty game right that wouldn't shock me uh i think it's long overdue for the franchise right like it's just long overdue and it would make sense for them to start this process after getting a new game engine and when one of their studios is struggling and needs help that's when they can pull their resources and actually accomplish something that they should have done a long time ago with that being said guys hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you drop a thumbs up on the video subscribe and turn on notifications so that way you don't miss the next time i upload any call of duty news or content comment down below telling me if you think that modern warfare 2 remastered is coming this year is it going to come at all what do you think let me know in the comment section below if it is coming are you excited for it i would love to hear from you guys and with that being said thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace